not here. Are, he's, he's not in Bombay. Huh, call him tomorrow. Thank you. Tata, who is it? Someone. I didn't ask him. Anyways, what do you want the name for? But I have to write on each phone call. Well, I have taken at least three. If they wanted their name known, they would have told it to me. Tata, that's the way you see. My husband sees it differently. If I say they didn't tell me their names, you get angry. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Oh, he's gone out of town somewhere. He didn't tell me when. Press conference. Oh, today? Ha ha, take Ha, I'll tell. Hello? Ha. He's gone out of town somewhere. He didn't tell me when he'll be back. No, I don't know. Oh, Rakesh ji. Ha, ha. Oh, he's coming back today? Theek hai, theek hai. Ha. Uh, ha, ha, sure, sure. Okay, do come home sometime. Ha, theek. Tata, that was from the office. They got a message on the teleprinter. He'll be home any minute. Mm. So I will be meeting him after all. I thought he'd be missing this one rare occasion where I had come to Bombay. Selvi? Ah, Solana Ma! Saib is just coming. You make that curry from the lady's finger. Ah, Selvi Ma! And uh, is yesterday's nice biryani still good? Uh, biryani, ah. Eat it, Ma! Ha, then heat it up. Ah, Selvi Ma! Selvi? Ah, oh, Dada. Sarita? Just now. 
They said they will drag Sunil out of the house and hack him to death. Ch ch chop him to bits. Dada. This is the last warning. Dada, Dada, please sit down. These, keep, these calls keep happening all the time. And most of the time, Sunil isn't even home. I am the one who has to take all these calls. I've got used to it, Dada. Don't worry. This is madness. This is complete madness. Try telling that to me. Of course I will. This is something that concerns you. I didn't give you to him to take you back as a widow. You did give me away, Dada. You really think he's going to listen to you if you tell him? He has Meeting you at all. Why are you? Don't tell me you're leaving so quickly. Sarita, you can't let him leave so quickly. You have to stay for at least one week, I insist. <laughs> right. So I will stay here and you will go off to cover some uh, murder investigation. Dada, please don't crack jokes with me, okay? Uh, Sarita? Sarita? Huh? I asked you to make a list of people who called me. Huh? I, I've kept it there somewhere. See, Sarada, what I want you to do is, I want you to get my water heated and the ginger tea you make. Huh. <clears throat> um, Sunil, one of the phone calls isn't written. I took that. Okay, who is it? It was um, anonymous. Did they say what it was about? Uh, it was about a, a news article. They said that they will drag you out of the house and Hack you to death. Chop you into bits. This is the last warning. Um, uh, did, did they mention a date? The 23rd. Never mind that. Don't you feel anything? About what? You have just been threatened with murder. Dada, it keeps happening. It keeps happening, relax. <sighs> Hello? Mr. Singh! <laughs> no, no, I, I just came, don't worry. I, I, I'm just about to call you, sir. Just now. Oh, yes, mission accomplished. Oh, she's beautiful, sir. Don't worry, don't worry. <coughs> yeah, yeah, come, come, please, please come. I think she's perfect. Editor, sir, I, I even told the editor. I thought, I thought that was your side of the story. You had to tell the editor. Yeah, I know. No. Now, everything is fine. Six o'clock, sharp. Today's press conference is going to be big. Trust me, sir. Trust me. Thank you. I'll see you then. Bye. Uh, Tata, you were saying something about a threatening phone call. Is it any use telling you? Come on, Dada. Try it. Entertain me. See, I'm telling you. You're going to get caught in this terrible jam. Forget about all that, Dada. No, tell me what brings you to Bombay. I remember, I wrote a letter to you about it. A letter? Ah, yes, yes, something about uh, a coat of paper for your magazine. Dada, listen to me. I don't want you loitering around Bombay in this weather. Give me all the details, it'll be done. Thank you. But don't mistake me, Sunil. But I'm very concerned about the part you're taking. <coughs> I don't quite understand. You're attacks on different people every day. <coughs> I asked her about it. Look, sir. The battles when I had fought when I was of your age were quite different. The enemy wasn't hidden in the dark. They were right there, in front of us. But now... No, that's not on people. I told you again and again, it's not on people, but on bad trends. I have no concern, no, no obligation whatsoever with respect to individuals, and I have told you time and again. It is, it is all the same. They are all individuals. You are not prepared to take care or protect yourself. Dada, if a man must die, he might as well die sitting at home. What must he do then? Just sit and refuse to do anything. Because what? I'm scared of death.
How are you feeling? You have to drink it. I want you to drink this tea. All right. existed at this very moment in this very country. You see, I wrote about it a while back. I wrote about it. But I have a shred of proof that had anything. I, I didn't know where it was, what it was, but I could smell that something was wrong. You know, the cops think the cops knew what was going on. Oh, they knew. They just brushed their hands off it. And they called me a sensation-seeking journalist. Sunan, why are you doing all this? Because it fell upon me, didn't I? Who else will do it? Who else? The Home Minister put his hands around his ears. He refused to listen to anything I had to say. So it fell upon me to find the right neck and tie the right noose. You know, I moved heaven and earth, God knows that, to find this place. I moved it! I remain the first journalist, the only journalist who have ever made it back home. 
Sunil, whatever it is, I don't like this. Sartha, I'm sorry, but I don't like it either. But it has to be done. You, you don't understand. See, now I have the ultimate proof. I have the product itself. I have Kamala. I'm going to take this entire kaboodle. I'm going to wrap it up, throw it at the government, and then watch them deny it this time. She went through how she, who she is. Do you understand? Yes. Uh, please don't, do not do anything regarding her without asking me first. Okay. I won't do anything, Sarita. Uh, Sarita, uh, uh, send Kamala in, please. Kamala, come, come, come. Sit, sit, please. Sit, Kamala, sit. I want you to sit. So, Kamala, tell me, how are you feeling? Today, we'll go out together. Yeah, yeah, I see Bombay. Mm. Uh, uh, people there. City. See, where are we going now? There's going to be a big feast. Very, very important people will be there. And Kamala, they will want to talk to you. Uh, me? Yeah, what? I do that. 
Hello, Kamala. See, you have to come. Uh, uh, they all want to talk to you. It's, it's all in your honor. You have to come. Shaila, my class, do not come, my young. See, Kamala, if you, if you don't come, then uh, they'll all be angry. They'll ask me, uh, where is Kamala? What do I tell them? You have to come, Kamala. See. Kamala, tell me, she is tired. Kamala, you have to come, Kamala. See, Kamala, we are going. We have to go. Kamala, you master, why not come today, tomorrow? See, Kamala, if if uh, if you don't go, then fine, but I won't. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you should go. No, no, see, I told them that I'll bring Kamala. If I, if you don't come, then call me a liar. No, I don't want to. Sorry, Gaya. We go later. <laughs> hey, Kamala, are you telling me that you're not obeying me? Yeah, you, yeah. You, master. Then we are going tonight. Is that clear? Yeah. What? They very important. There is going to be a very big reception and a very special chair just for you. Chair? Yeah. I always. Don't. No, no, Kamala, you can't sit on the floor there, they'll laugh at you. See, the very important thing is, they'll want to ask you questions. They'll ask you, uh, how was your village? Uh, what did you eat? What did you wear? How did you live? Yeah, I tell all. Yes. Yes, you tell them everything. See, Kamala, if the right people ask you a question, you have to give the right answer. Yeah, I tell all. We know food, clothes. Everything, Kamala. I want you to tell them your story. Everything. Sorry, Gaya. I'll come. Okay, Kamala, you go inside. I'll call you. Nothing private. See, they're all in the open. It's going to come in tomorrow's newspaper. Sunil. Oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, uh, this is Raman, my friend and colleague. Uh, this is my brother-in-law. Who? Oh. He's also a journalist. He has a magazine and all. No, Dala. He was absolutely brilliant today. The photographers, they're just falling over each other to get the right angle. <laughs> but this girl, uh, Kamala, facing it all for the first time, I thought she'd just run away in the middle of it. <laughs> she would have run away. What? Yeah. I was sitting right next to her, uh -huh. sun shining her the entire time. <laughs> My God, the woman was. Any questions? Mm. Exactly. The questions were just jokes. Some of our journalists are idiots, I tell you. They have no idea that they have to put uh, different questions to a, a minister and, and to this uh, Adivasi. You remember uh, that question that they asked? Ah, yes. No, that. They were asking her to Kamala. 
What do you think about the economic exploitation of tribals? <laughs>
Seven hundred. He bought me for seven hundred. अरे आते हैं seven hundred ना. Why? Was it too less? Uh, it, it, it is the big money. Ma, you kids are one seven hundred. You know children. We pay for uh, food, clothes. Aya, not a big. Kamla, how many children can you have? Uh, I have. Uh, uh, how much he wants, ma? He work very hard. Aya, kaga. Uh, ma, morning till evening. Ma, aya, other house. No. Uh, farm. No farm. Uh, uh, I work there. Also, aya, kaga. You. No come now. What are you thinking, Kamla? Mm. Mm. Nothing, ma. But you must be thinking something. Ma, uh, you know mine. Uh, I tell something. Yeah, but you. He bought me. Sir, then, ma, he a lot of money on both of us. We both like sisters. Uh, make a yeah happy. But it's a good thing. Take care. Money matter. Nice 
clothes, goat, aya, make a happy. Mom, don't, don't worry, children. I give, I take care. Okay. Sarita, could you please bring me my tea? Sarita! Sarita! Sunil's press conference has come in the newspaper. Very good coverage. It says here that Kamla was a sensation that was waiting to happen. The police and the government is fumbled. There's a special, this is a good one. There's a special meeting arranged by the Prime Minister and his cabinet.
He's not here. He's uh, having a bath. Urgent message? Yes, yes, I will convey it to you. Thank you, sir. <coughs> that was from the Park Police Station. What's happening, Sunil? No, no, it's, uh, <coughs> it's about yesterday's press conference. But I don't understand. Why is the police calling you? Well, as, as it's a crime to sell a woman, it's also a crime to buy one. I can be tried for this. Do they want to arrest you? Not at the moment. Uh, they want custody of Kamala. But don't worry, me. That won't happen. No, don't worry. Uh, Selvi! <laughs> conference of yours going to be about? I'm going to present a man who in the year 1992 still keeps a slave right here in Bombay. <coughs> I'm going to say this man, he's a great advocate of freedom. But he brings home a slave and exploits her. 
He doesn't consider a slave a human being. Just a misplotted one he can use and throw away. He asks people to call him the sworn enemy of tyranny. What does he do? He tyrannizes his own slave as much as he likes. He doesn't think anything of him. Listen to the story, how he brought home the slave Kamala. The other one got free. What is all this you're thinking? Is, is this what you think about, about Sunil? This is very little, Dada. You haven't heard much. Anyone, anyone would think that Sunil was a slave driver? Not just anyone. I do, Dada. I do. Are you thinking about all of this today? Why you ask? I was asleep. I was unconscious even when I was awake. Kamala woke me up. She showed me everything. The man, the man who I thought was my husband. He's just a master of a slave. Slaves don't have any rights in this house, Dada. They just slave away. Dance to their master's whim. Laugh when he says laugh. Cry when he says cry. When he says serve him, serve him. When he says lie on his bed. Santa, please, just sit down. Calm down. No, Dada. I can never think of this as my will. Look, Sarka. You are wrong to think that Sunil is a bad man. Men, they are always too proud of their achievements. And by that standard, Sunil, Sunil is a real go-getter. He has achieved so many things in his field. Why, Dada? If a man becomes great, why can't he remain great? Why does he become the master? Because he's a man. And because men are like that. And because there is manhood in this world. I too was once like this. I gave your sister-in-law a lot of trouble. Like it for my own right? I marched straight ahead, looking forward. And I expected her to walk right behind. And she did. Even though she was limping. So, go behind your master like that. It's your duty to do it. Is that what you're saying, Dada? Look, Sarta, you're angry right now. Grown up people do not act angrily. They act with thought. You have to have an understanding with him. Only a woman must. Why, Dada? Why alone must she have? Don't men make mistakes? They do. And when they do, they have to endure it. Sad? 
just like that without without any warning? Tell me, Sunil. Tell me what happened. Nothing happened. Uh, you know, Dada, this paper. I built it. Sunil. Sunil, it's okay. It was uh, Sunil Gupta's paper. Not, not Mr. Singh. Not, not, not Sikhar. It's all right, Sunil. Take rest. understand now what men are like what what manhood is i was a drug either so you so you're still going ahead with your plan not now right now he needs my attention. And I will take care of him. Dada, one day will come. But I don't have to be a slave. And I can do what I wish. No one will tell me anything. That day will come, Dada. I will be free. 